What's happening guys? Bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. As you can tell from my arm swatches, I'm going to be sharing my top five lip liners that I reach for on the daily when I want to make my lips look juicy, plump, large and in charge, plus two additional. That's why there's not just like five swatches here. I wanted to include um, some affordable options in there as well that are in the same shade range or same shade family. I'm also gonna briefly do my makeup because there's a slight revision to my last video on my everyday essentials. Um, I did something different the other day when I was just at home and I was like, of course I'm at home, where else am I gonna be? <laughs> I did something a little different, really loved it and wanted to share it with you guys. Um, but I also wanted to shoot this video, so I was like, you know what, let's do a little revision, do the makeup, and then jump into these top five favorite lip liners of mine. So let's get into it. I think I might film a Warby Parker haul after this because I still haven't done one and I'm a huge fan of their eyewear. I have eyeglasses, all prescription, obviously. Sunglasses are all prescription. I forgot to check if I brushed my teeth before. I gotta stop eating chia seeds before I film. I feel like this is like a reoccurring thing on my channel. Be right back, let me brush my teeth real quick. First thing we're doing here is using the Woleta Skin Food Ultra Rich Cream to prep the skin. I already did my normal skincare and I just find that because I'm wearing less face product and not an actual foundation, more so concealer, the more hydrated and glossy my skin looks, the better. That's actually a lot. If you're really sensitive to oil, I wouldn't recommend this. It's kind of like an oil and cream. See, it's like a little too much. I'm gonna use some on my arms. It's like a multi-purpose, multi-use cream. Very popular amongst makeup artists because if you get a client that has really dry skin or texture, you just work a little blob of this stuff into it and it takes care of that texture. So I'm not gonna be as detailed with the makeup because I wanna focus more so on the lip liners, but I do just wanna give you this little revision on my previous tutorial on my essentials. So my last video, I didn't use a highlight. I used this Becca multi-purpose gloss. Then I thought, what if someone wants a real highlight, not just like a gloss? And then I remembered. I forgot about one of my absolute favorite looks like skin highlighters, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Opal. I add this now so that way I can conceal freely like I did in my previous video and the glow will kind of just peek through those areas that you're not covering up with concealer but then you don't have to worry about ruining the concealer or the areas that you did add coverage. When going back in with a highlighter, I like this technique a little more. So I'm just using a flat paddle brush, a buildable foundation brush from Smashbox. I'm gonna add it to the high points. Any area that you want highlighted. I wouldn't add it to my entire face because then it would take away from the high points being nice and highlighted. The whole face would be highlighted, even if you're using concealer. But for me, I like the eyelids, brow bone, cheekbones. And then I'll use my fingertip to just blend out the edges. And then whatever's left over, you can just highlight that body. And it doesn't bother me on my body like other shimmery um, body products do, like oils or even like powder on the skin. This just wears really, really well. A little AC break because it's so loud. <laughs> Window unit. All right, that was my only revision from my previous tutorial. Now I'm just gonna run through the steps. Same thing that I did in my last video um, pretty quickly here. So that way, let's actually, let's slow it down. Let's do it in slow-mo, a little slow-mo action. And then let's talk about lip liners since this look is the same as the last one. If you guys want a detailed tutorial, click up here and it'll take you to that video. But let's do this one in. Slow-mo. Wrong shade. <laughs> This is the lighter one. I was like, why does it look a little dusty? Go back to the slow.
Now we're gonna get into what you guys probably actually clicked on this video for, my top lip pencils that I feel require no additional color. And again, if you have a similar skin tone to me or similar lip color, these just enhance the look of your lips. They make them look juicier, plumper. They make you question, is she wearing a lip liner? Or are her lips that big? Because the answer is, they're not. They're actually, mine are decent. They're like kind of narrow. They're not like big, plump, juicy lips, but these liners definitely do that. I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest and kind of just give you guys my little two cents on each. First one, the lightest shade that I have that I love wearing on its own. House Labs and Point. Get nice up close and personal for you guys so you can see it. Whenever I outline my lips, I always make sure that they connect on the corners and then I overline right here. Watch, let me just point it out real quick. I overline right here, under here, and then out here as well. And a little bit on the Cupid's bill. And when only wearing a lip liner, what I do is I feather in where I outline, like this. I don't completely fill in my lip, you can. I like to feather it in. In the middle, I'll draw a line. And then further blend it when I add a lip balm or gloss, if I want to go, if I want to take that additional step. Most of the time I'll add a lip balm like Lip Butter Balm from Summer Fridays or lip butter balm from summer fridays <laughs> if i want the hydration on my lips because normally i do um, and then i also fill in the outer corners so basically what ends up happening you create these natural highlights right here and right here which ends up giving the illusion that your lips are plump and juicy because you've added dimension and highlight to the lips it gives that effect here's end point by house labs a little more pink still really natural it can get a little brassy if you are a light olive tone like me, but overall, looks good on its own. Next one, recently discovered and already a fave, Laura Mercier's lip pencil in the shade Natural Lips. Anytime I show this one, people are like, what's the color of the pencil? I believe the color is actually Natural Lips. Lip pencil, Natural Lips. Yeah, that's what it is. So let me take this off and then we'll apply a little Laura Mercier. All natural. This is Natural Lips by Laura Mercier, still um, light enough that it's not so dramatic like a brown lip liner. It's definitely dusty and has that like neutral undertone to it. So it's great if your lips turn um, any sort of pink lip liner or pink lip product brassy. This is dusty enough, neutral enough that it's not gonna do that. Contours um, paired with like an ultra nude lip. It's gonna give you a little bit of definition on its own. It just looks, ooh. So good, I love it, I love it so much. Compliments to the chef, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Next one, Victoria Beckham Beauty, number two. I thought I lost this one for a while and I was really sad about it, I'm glad I found it. Let's put it on. A little darker, the natural lips, and I would say a little more mauve. So I actually started swatching them on my hands so you guys can see the difference. We've got endpoint on top, you can tell is more pinky. Natural Lips, which is more brownie, and then uh, Victoria Beckham 02, which is a little more mauve-y. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, I'm gonna save the best for last. I've been wearing this lip liner all the time. It can probably predict which is gonna be my final lip liner, or actually maybe this one too. NARS Lip Pencil in the shade Vents. This one, let's swatch it before I put it on. This one definitely translates more on the mauve side, whereas the others have a few of those brown undertones or dusty undertones. This tone reminds me of the lip liner that Kylie Jenner made famous when she hadn't um, yet mentioned she got lip filler and was saying she was just, there's a rogue eyelash. Oh my, come on. I think it was like Sore by MAC is what she was using. Some would say it was Spice lip pencil. <laughs> Um, others said it was sore, whatever that one pencil name is. But that's what this color reminds me of. And you'll see when I put it on, it makes my lips look very uh, lip fillery. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Just un momento, por favor. Do you guys see what I was talking about now? Tell me that's not like the exact dupe or replica of that lip color from MAC. And now for the grand finale, my all-time favorite. You can really tell that I love these pencils by how short they are. Um, I recently discovered, like I said, the Laura Mercier one, so that's the longest, but look at these, they're all pretty short. And then this one, 
is the shortest because I use it all the time. It is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. It is a true brown lip liner, not too dark, not too light. It's like the perfect um, right down the middle brown shade that contours your lips, gives me a bit of like that cholita vibe that I love. It brings me back to um, when I was growing up and I was definitely going for the chola vibes and my mom was like, please, no, cut it out, stop. And I love it, I love it so much. I've been wearing it all the time. Um, Every time I have it on, you guys ask questions, so let's uh, let's put it on and conclude this video. And that is it. This is my fifth and final lip liner that I reach for for an everyday look when I want my lips to look large and in charge. This is definitely my favorite. If you saw my last video where I showed you my everyday essentials, essentially this makeup look with um, some things changed a bit. Again, it's linked up here. Um, I do add lip balm to complete this look because who doesn't want their lips to be nice and hydrated while also looking juicy? Just amps up the juicy effect. So what I do is I take my Summer Fridays Butter Lip Balm on a lip brush. This is a Smith 304. And I just add it to the areas where there's no lip pencil. Remember, I'm doing a bit of a contour and highlighting the lips by leaving these areas with no lip pencil to amp up the juice factor. And that's it, this is my go-to lip. Seriously, my absolute favorite. It's almost empty. I wanna share two other ones really quickly because I know a lot of these were from high-end brands. House Labs though is pretty affordable and it's available on Amazon, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. The other two that are in the similar color family are L'Oreal Color Riche Matte in the shade 112 Matte Stermind. <laughs> See that? 112 Mastermind. Let's swatch it. Oh. Boomer is here playing with a bone. He's saying, Mom, wrap up this video. You gotta hop on a Zoom call. I don't know if he's the best assistant or the worst assistant. I haven't decided yet. And then this one is super old and dried out, so that's why I didn't use it. Color, Baba. We had a lot of moth early today. <laughs> Color Pop BFF. It comes in other shades as well. I know um, Shayla, when she did a collaboration with them, did a brown shade that was beautiful. I'm not sure it's available anymore, but this is the original BFF. And ColourPop is very, very much affordable. That's why I wanted to mention it, even though my pencil's old and pretty dry. I just wanted to show you the color. See how similar that is? Same tone, same shade range as the other ones. So pick your favorite. Again, go based off of your personal lip tone, skin tone, what works best for you. Is it more of a pinky tone, a brown tone, neutral undertone, dusty, warm, mauve? It's really personal preference. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Share it with anyone who is in the marketplace for a new lip liner, an everyday lip liner, maybe um, has been considering getting a lip filler and you're like, hold up, let me show you these lip liners. They do the trick with a little bomb, boom, you got it. So make sure to share it with them. Can't remember what I just said, but subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.